That'll be caught. It's Cup. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Give him a little extra credit there. His head was cool as the play broke down. Didn't force a throw, and in the end, got to show off his athleticism with a nice gain to bring up a new set of downs. And I think the ball's out. And the ball ends up out of bounds, so it'll be a loss on the play. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Nice job there getting the win. Next up, another challenge, of course. Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach with you here today for another edition of Madden Ultimate Team. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and 10. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. His throw incomplete. It'd be interesting to see what he decides to do the next time he's in the position we just saw there. Outside of the pocket, takes a throw downfield, it turns up incomplete. I wonder if next time he might take off and run. Throwing again on second and ten. Burrow flushed out right. And his throw's going to be incomplete. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield incomplete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. Burrow now off the bootleg. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Wide open receiver, complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back to throw again. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. And they go play action now. Burrow. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, LA. From three yards out. And the Rams go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. He got a figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Eluding the pressure right. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So unable to 
throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're space because of the back of the end zone never let a guy catch one in front of you Mariota now to throw on first down a quick throw knocked away and incomplete well he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield but as soon as he released the throw the corner was there to slam that window shut they run with the former Pitt Panther Quadri Olison. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this returnable for Cup. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw here. Rolling to his right. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And Burrow going to throw again, sliding out of the pocket. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 12-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by A.J. Terrell. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Now Mariota. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw is Mariota. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Again, it's Mariota. He's got his man. This is Tate. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 32-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19 from the 32 now. Here's first and 10 to throw Mariota. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Clock running, and the Falcons moving with a sense of urgency. 
Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Bright. And Edward. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. He'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. Flush to his right. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. And quickly, they get to the line. Now Burrow on first down. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. The throw over the middle, taken in. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 41-yard line. Again, it's Burrow. They'll roll him out right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And the Falcons are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. First and 10 now for the Falcons and Mariota. At their own 46. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On second and nine, Mariota. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. He's got room. The coach here, and welcome to this ultimate challenge. Sit back and relax. You're in for a real treat with this matchup. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. 40 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll go to Barkley again. 
And some room to maneuver. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. 